Doom Eternal speedrun is already completely broken and fast as hell. Clocking in at around half an hour, there's clearly something busted about this game. Well, good news. I can tell you exactly how we got here. Hi, my name is Alex Esposito, and this is how the mouse scroll wheel broke Doom Eternal speedruns. Doom Eternal, a self-described combat puzzle with the Slayer as the catalyst for blood explosions galore. But we don't have time for any of that sh Welcome to Slope Boosts a glitch within the game that was found within 24 hours of the official release. Simply walk off a ledge while holding weapon wheel to slow down time and give yourself more room to be precise, and then enter a ton of jump inputs at a specific moment while the Slayer is falling, and voila. There's probably a lot of complicated math involved with why this works, but who gives a f However, spamming spacebar in order to get your jump inputs seems to be rather inefficient, but of course that is why we have the scroll wheel. Within Doom Eternal you can bind mouse wheel up and down to independent actions. So let's just go into controls, slayer bindings, and no luck. Of course you can't do this because the devs knew of slope boost's existence, or at least we think they did. That's the only explanation for letting us bind scroll wheel to literally anything else in the game but not jump. But fear not, we also have a solution to this problem, because Eternal also gives us access to the console while in game. On PC, obviously, sorry Xbox and PlayStation friends. So we pop in this command and boom, scroll down, get jump. Add this to slope boost setup and away we go. Within a few days, skips for levels start to develop and we start to see the run drop below an hour and even below 50 minutes within a week of release. But this is only the beginning. For those uninformed individuals, not all mice are created equal. And this is especially important in the case of this speed run. Free scroll. The ability to unlock the scroll wheel and let her rip. More inputs equals bigger jumps. If you time your scrolls and have enough FPS, you simply get higher than you can with any other means. Obviously, spamming spacebar or the A or X equivalent on your controller is way worse than this. Even normal scroll wheel is moderately worse than this method, so now the Doom Eternal speedrun community runs into a problem. The run's competitive nature is being c blocked by a hardware requirement. This is a pretty taboo thing within speedrun communities. Oftentimes, rules are created in order to keep the playing field as even as possible, competitive integrity and whatnot. So the free scroll requirement for slope boost presents a challenge for the moderators of this run, and their solution is controversial. Let's take a look. A macro was coded in order to simulate free scroll within the game. Now you can download an executable, set up a keybind, and with one press of a button, a simulated free scroll appears. This presents an interesting challenge for the community. First off, macros are a touchy subject in speedruns. Making any action controlled through an outside source not within the game itself is often frowned upon because it kind of taints the speedrun, so to speak. These things start to blur the line between a speedrun and a TAS, or tool assisted speedrun. Using console commands, cheats, and third party programs are usually something that goes through a lot of discussion before going through. For instance, there was a community vote for using the console command to bind scroll wheel, which passed through, and a vote to allow the unlockable cheat codes in game to be usable in speedruns, which allows for a glitch that uses the IDKFA cheat code to glitch a gun to have both mods unlocked, making the heavy cannon shoot precision bolt micro missiles which looks like this, but that discussion is for another video. There was no vote for this macro, at least not at first. The macro was dished out to some trusted members for testing, and then later given to the whole community and made legal within the rules for the run. And it changed things. It turns out perfectly simulated free scrolls are much more consistent than a human attempting to time them properly on their own, which creates a world where slope boosts are now consistent at max height. Combo this consistent max height slope boost from the macro with a new trick that involves using built up speed from these boosts and b hopping with them, and you have full level skips, much like this one on Hell on Earth, the first level of the game. I think I might just miss the platform here. Let's see, my angle was kind of bad. Oh, no, this might work.
Exultias got one too. These consistent boosts quickly allowed for the discovery of a dev room on Mars Core, which lets you teleport to the end of the level. And now the run is just around half an hour. Necroval, Sentinel Prime, Erdak, even Final Sin. These levels involve slope boosting over them and walking to the end on invisible ceilings. So, recap. Slope boosts found. Scroll wheel found and console command voted in by the community. Free scroll discovered to be even better than normal scroll wheels, creating a hardware requirement for the run. The fix for this became a macro that simulates free scrolls, which turns out to be even better than normal free scroll because of consistency. It is also important to note that the macro and free scroll don't provide different boosts. The macro simply makes the boosts brain dead easy and consistent to a point where little skill is required to pull them off, not only removing a hardware requirement, but in turn reducing the skill gap in the speedrun, which is a less important point but one I personally care about, so I figured I'd mention it. And that is how Doom Eternal speedruns got to 30 minutes in less than a month. My personal thoughts in all of this is that the run would have eventually got here if the console command stuff was banned from the get-go. Players would have been required to get good and grind slope boosts in order to master them. Without a scroll wheel, and more specifically a macro, the run would have progressed at a slower pace. People would have been required to find less efficient but more specific skips because of the lower boosts at first. And as players developed their methods, the things we are seeing right now probably would have been found weeks if not months down the road, but because of the console command going through, the floodgates opened and free scroll was discovered, which led the community to push for a macro to level the playing field, which accelerated the progression of the speedrun and now we are where we are and there's no going back. And there we have it. That's the story of how Mouse Wheel broke the Doom Eternal speedrun. I hope this helps you understand speedrunning and how these runs develop so quickly. But that's it for me. My name is Alex Esposito and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about shit that I like. Have a good one. Peace.